I was Hojong Roo reporting. According to Governor Cooper, in rural communities, Medicaid expansion will help create more jobs and cultivate a healthier, active workforce. Cooper added that Medicaid expansion enrollment can reach more qualified people effectively through organizations such as churches and the Department of Health and Human Services. Now it is officially spring, but with flower buds and blooming trees, many people face the dreaded seasonal allergies that come along with that season change. Though common, the difference between seasonal allergies and other sicknesses can be hard to decipher. Merritt Morgan joins us live in studio. Good morning, Merritt. Every spring, the pollen gets me, but how many other people does it affect? Well, good morning, Jason. You're talking to another one. Uh, it's so hard with the sniffles and the coughing and all of the things, but the CDC actually says that 25.7% of adults actually dealt with seasonal allergies last year. Now, with allergy symptoms similar to colds and other sicknesses, it's important to know the difference to choose the best course of action and treatment. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says that allergy, flu, and cold symptoms can all consist of coughing, sore throat and a runny nose that can make breathing a challenge. But the differences between each that all affect a person's respiratory actually does vary. The DHHS says that a cold typically lasts up to two weeks and can be treated with rest, fluids and over the counter medicines. Meanwhile, if you do have the flu, the symptoms and treatment can look a little different. According to the DHHS, they say that symptoms usually last one to two weeks with a fever of 100 to 102 headache, aches and pains and weaknesses, exhaustion, cough and chest discomfort are also some of those symptoms as well. The flu can be treated with rest, fluids, over-the-counter medicines and prescription antiviral drugs. Finally, seasonal allergies last just as long as all the allergens like pollen are present. The DHHS says that symptoms include a stuffy, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes, and can be treated with a lot of different drugs and nasal steroids as well. Now, I also reached out to allergists here in the East who say that they do see an influx of patients around this time of year. They say it's best to be proactive by contacting your doctor if you know that you've already been affected by these allergies in the past. Jason. All right, thanks, Merritt. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America says that nearly 81 million people in 2021 dealt with seasonal allergies. Now